What's up, YouTube? Galat74 here, bringing you this week's Mega Illusion of the Week. Bringing you two this week, since I didn't technically bring you one last week, because this one's just very, very late. <laughs> I am uploading this on a Monday, probably Monday night. And my next one will be either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on my schedule. Since I have two URL battles this week, and they both I can't get them both done until the end of the week, so they're going to be at the end of the week, like, um, like the Mega Evolution is usually. So the Mega Evolution will be in the beginning. Well, Thursday or Wednesday. Presumably Wednesday. But anyway, th for today's Mega Evolution, we're going to be going over Mega Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan is one of the strongest Megas, if not the strongest Mega in the entire game. It is in the uber tier of Smogon, so that just is a, a start already for how strong it is. It is used very competitively in VGC as well, not just like single Smogon. It's used kind of everywhere, you see it a lot. Kind of when you go on the battle spot and you see legendaries, Kangaskhan's kind of hiding around in there too. It's a really strong Mega. Uh, we're gonna get into its typing first of all. It's a normal typing, which just helps it out even more. It's immune to ghost types and it's only weak to fighting. It doesn't resist anything, so that's fine. But if it's bulk, it can usually take. It won't get one hit one shot unless it's getting hit with a strong fighting type move, which is why I like Mega Glade so much. Because Glade kind of walls out Kangaskhan, but not many Pokemon is able to do that. Because Kangaskhan is really hard hitter, and with this typing, it's it might not be hitting super effective, but it's got so many coverage moves that it actually will be probably. Its stab won't be, but all the boosting, as I'll get into later, as you see at, at why it boosts so much, it it doesn't matter if it's not super effective or not. Sorry, I'm a little mumbling. Uh, I woke up not long ago, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna go right on to its base stat. Normal Kangaskhan is alright, it's still it's not nearly as good as Mega Kangaskhan. The Kangaskhan normally is alright, it's got a HP of 105, uh, 90 speed along with 80 in the defenses, and a 95 attack it isn't too bad, considering it's typing only being weak to fighting still, it still probably won't get hit by it won't get one shotted unless it's a really strong move. Uh, it can be it's used it's very viable. But Mega Kangaskhan is way better than Kangaskhan. As you see here, I'm gonna get into Mega Kangaskhan's stats. It gain it, it's it doesn't seem like much at first. It gains 30 in attack, 20 in the defenses and special attack, and 10 in speed. It doesn't really seem like much, being its highest stat is its attack at 125, which isn't too too good. It you'll it'll make sense in a minute. But 125 speed and 100, it's, um, when 125 attack, my bad, 100 speed is nothing to laugh at. With 100 defenses, it's got the bulk and the attacking power. 105 HP is even good too. It's got 5 of the 6 stats over 100. Or at 100, I should say. Uh, even though 100 is a average speed, considering that a lot of Megas or any a, a good Pokemon are over 100 speed. That's it's still alright, but now we're gonna get into the biggest part of Mega Kangaskhan. It is Mega Kangaskhan. It's uh, it's got the Kangaskhan Knight. It's Mega Stone. Its ability is Parental Bond. That is, if it does not have a Parental Bond, this thing will not be Uber. This thing will not be used in competitive. This thing wouldn't wouldn't be as nearly as viable as it is. Parental Bond is kind of like you get a second attack off. Uh, for example. Uh, I have the moves that fake out, power up, punch, sucker punch, and chip away. If I use fake out, it'll hit the opponent twice. It break. It's, it's helpful with it breaks sashes, and with power up punch, it's kind of like a free swords dance. You get to attack your opponent with two two power up punches, which upgrades your attack, roof boosts your attack. My bad, by two, and then you can just chip away or sucker punch. I like chip away. A lot of people use return. That's the main one. I use Chip Away because if they're going to be boosting their defense as well, Chip Away ignores that. Uh, Sucker Punch is for ghost types. And Crunch is also a really good move on inside of Sucker Punch. I like the priority Sucker Punch, but Crunch enables that like if the ghost type tries to stall you out with like Will-O-Wisp or just uses status moves, you can't touch the thing. You don't want it setting up in your face while you can't set up on ghost types. So that's what Crunch is good for. But Sucker Punch, priority, because it's not the fastest thing in the world. It gets other moves like Protect, obviously. A lot of people run Protect to VGC. Uh, it gets strong moves like Earthquake as well. As long as Train Punch, so it can have some reliable recovery. It's got 252 attack and speed EVs. Definitely recommend the 252 speed EVs, but you can kind of mess around with the attack since it's already boosting with Power Punch and it's going to have a high attack. You might not need all those EVs, so you could put some in bulk so you can take some hits more. 
And if you just look at Mega Cat's guy on the screen there, it doesn't really change much as you see. It's baby basically grows up. That that's kind of it about Mega Kangaskhan there. It is the parent Pokemon, and it was introduced in first generation, and it is always a female. This is something I always get wrong, considering it's the parent Pokemon and it raises its young. Always forget it's always female. Just to put it out there, I, it's just always female. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. I completely forgot. Uh, its other abilities are Early Bird and Scrappy. It gets Inner Focus as well, but the main uh, ability you would want is Scrappy. I actually don't have Scrappy on mine in the game, but I reckon Scrappy is way better since you can still hit the Ghost types before you Mega Evolve. Uh, in Pokemon Go, it can only be found in Australia. That's another fact. Unless you hatch it out of an egg, you can hatch it out of an American egg, and a Kangaskhan can come out. So, a little fun tip there. And it is, as I repeated myself a billion times, it's used in competitive play a lot. It's the most seen Mega, I think. I, I think, besides like Mega Rayquaza, since they've been allowing legendaries, but I know last year, 2015, it was on almost every team. I couldn't find the exact stat. But I believe it was like 7 out of 8 teams had Mega Kangaskhan out of the top 8, and 1 had Mega Gardevoir. I don't know, but it's really strong Mega. As you will see in these battles, I'm going to pull up these battles right now. I had two battles, and it's this first one was a little hacksy, and it didn't really involve Kangaskhan as much. In my battles I put on here, I try to emphasize the Mega as much as I possibly can. I didn't do it as well in these two battles, so I definitely apologize. I, was, I wasn't having the best of luck. So anyway, I start off with the Relicanth because I just I like I love using Relicanth. Hit Smash, d it destroys lives. It it literally destroys it destroys lives. Altaria is already down. <laughs> uh, it talks to me, but that's quite fine. I have a Life Orb. I was gonna hold a Focus Test originally, but I just decided to get damage off as fast as I possibly could. So they're gonna send out uh, Low Pony. I will go over Low Pony eventually. It is not gonna be the next Mega though. I will just say that it will not be the next Mega. Uh, but it's really good mega. Anyway, uh, back to the Kangaskhan there. They're gonna use High Jump Kick and just probably knock out my Relicanth, which is fine. I, I let Relicanth just go down there because I didn't really need it as much. I got I got what I wanted it to do done. So since Mega Kangaskhan is actually weak to fighting, I wanted to I didn't want Kangaskhan being switched in. So I threw a Fairy type on my team to take these Fighting type hits. That's why Sylveon's out here. So I decided just to just go for Hyper Voice to get some damage on. I wasn't expecting a switch, but. They switched, so that's how it is. I decided I needed Sylveon for the Low Bunny, because I know Kangaskhan is, can't really do it as well. A good fighting type kind of counters Mega Kangaskhan, but as you see here, Volcarona is set up Quiver Dance, which is fine with me because, as you've seen earlier, 100 Special Defense with a 105 HP is really good on Kangaskhan after Mega Balls, of course. And I didn't want to go for Fake Out, I usually would, but Volcarona gets its Lame Body, and I didn't want to get burned. That's another some of the weakness of a Kangaskhan getting burned. I take that flamethrower really well. So I just go straight for chip away, try to do as much damage as I can, and I actually do knock out the Volcarona here, which is really good. Uh, show, uh, Volcarona does have the best defense, to be honest. But now they're going to send out Lapinate, and I know I can't really do anything to this thing. I didn't really want to keep uh, Kangaskhan. It actually went for Ice Punch, which really, sh which really shocked me. Uh, I got, they got a critical hit. I'm not sure if that mattered. It probably didn't. Actually, I mean, it probably did matter. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I sent out Sylveon now because I know the Hyper Voice will kind of kill off on because it's kind of frail. They're just going for the Freeze Hex, I think, Ice Punch now, which sucks because they actually get the Freeze Hex. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? Alright, so High Kid Bros on the first turn, alright? And now they're going to go for Ice Punch again. I'm not sure if. I don't think and, uh, going for Ice Punch again boosts the chances. I think it's just random. So I get Frozen again, which is just lovely. I'm getting a hit with another Ice Punch, and of course. What do you know? I get frozen. So yeah, I basically lost the match at this point. It says that I get frozen again because I actually went for quick attack. But yeah, fighting types is mainly Kangaskhan's main counter, especially since it's Megalopony, one of the best fighting types ever. I, I lost the battle. But yeah, I'm gonna get into the second battle. Uh, this battle was uh, painful to watch, as you if you saw there for a second the screen who they have. But anyway, they I'm gonna start off with Relicant for the same lead. And they're going to start off with, what do you know, Primal Groudon, right? Um, it's going to be Primal, who doesn't use Primal Groudon on a battle spot? Uh, I just want to let everybody know, uh, these battles aren't really the 100% the most competitive. I go in battle spot and just hope for the best, and the best battles I pull out. 
Like, I pull, I actually done a lot of battles with this team since Kangaskhan either swept or got destroyed. It was one or the other, which usually doesn't happen, but I just, I had bad luck. So anyway, I f totally forgot this thing got Solar Beam, and I went for straight for the head smash, but I'm going to get absolutely annihilated, but that's probably fine. I didn't really need Relicanth in this battle anyway. I decided to send out Kangaskhan now, since I know this thing, unless it's carrying Hammer Arm, which I would highly doubt, I was going to be able to take a hit from it while I can set up power book punches. So I'm going to Mega Evolve here. This battle does definitely show Mega Kangaskhan's power a lot better. I go for the Fake Out just for certain. Groudon's got Primal Groudon, has amazing defense, so that's the only reason why it's taking it so well. If it was Primal Kyogre, it wouldn't be taking it nearly as well. So I'm going to go for the, the Power Punch just to boost my attack, because I know Chip Away probably won't take this thing out in one hit or two hits if you include Parental Bond. Uh, they go for the Stab uh, Precipice Blades. I can't even pronounce that word. Precipice Blades, that's it. Yeah, they, they go for that. And I end up going for Chip Away here because I didn't think I was going to be able to take two. So I get a critical hit, which it might have mattered. I'm not 100% sure. Second hit might have taken it out. But yeah, take it out. So they're, they're going to send out Mewtwo now. Uh, the game was frozen me for a minute. That's kind of not cool at all. Uh, I'm going to go for Sucker Punch here since they don't know I was holding it. And since it's super effective, I'm just going to one-shot the Mewtwo, which is pretty good. I'll two-shot it. So that, that's, the, that's the good perk about Parental Bond. You get that second hit off, it can either break a sash or just, since it's the first hit, just missed the kill. The second one got it. So their next, uh, next, and their final Pokemon is God, basically. They have uh, Galade, who's going to Mega Evolve into Mega Galade. And I have Sucker Punch, which I was really hoping it would take it out. Since they were probably just going to go for a straight up attack. So I, I go for the Sucker Punch here. And Glade takes it really well, because, I mean, it's like a Glade, it's awesome. <laughs> no, no, but seriously. They end up going for close combat, so down goes Kangaskhan. But Kangaskhan did an amazing job taking out almost every Pokemon on the team. Uh, luckily, my last Pokemon is Sylveon. I know Gali gets Poison Jab, but since I have Quick Attack... Quick Attack hype, right? <laughs> Quick Attack's going to knock out uh, Glade, and that is game. Uh, it's not game yet. And... Now it's game. That hurt. That hurt to take out Mega Galley because Mega Galley is awesome. But yeah, that's the power of Mega's Kangaskhan. It is really good Mega. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, follow me on Twitter, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it.